Hello viewers, here we are uh, in Sydney, uh, Australia with the lovely Re Lena Rodriguez who has come to visit me. It's so exciting. Yeah. And we've been planning this for a couple of weeks and we sure finally have. got it together. Yes, we did. And so then we had the dilemma, what are we going to read yeah, on? Yeah, so many things. <laughs> what do we choose? Uh, but we've both had a lot of requests about the midterms Where have we? and we're in such a volatile space leading mm -hmm. into the midterm so we'll definitely cover that mm. and we'll run to some of the other issues as mm -hmm. we've got time we might do two or three little videos that we can then upload for you guys great okay. ready for our first question first question okay so what is happening with the filthy, corrupt pussy grabber of all time, <laughs> POTUS45? What is going on in his tiny wee brain? Mm. So we're talking now about leading in between now and the midterms. Okay, so what will be his frame of mind? What will be the big challenges that turn up? So I'm going to do a little general one to start to warm up. And then after that, I'm going to do a little one on Trump internationally because there's so much up in the air about that because mm -hmm. everything he says or does affects the world. So that'll be the next one. And then after that, we'll look more at the midterms and how it looks to play out from here for each of the parties. Mm -hmm. You can see that Lena is the organized one in this <laughs> picture. She's the leader, okay? It's that teaching brain. <laughs> We're both teachers, <laughs> but you know, you sort right. of have the lesson plan. Yes. Look at. She Excellent. provided this plan, right? <laughs> okay, just let me know when you need me to tilt. I will. Okay, good. I'll give you tilting instructions. <laughs> Terrific. Don't care. Okay, so let's concentrate now. This is Trump and his frame of mind between now and the midterms, which are, what, they're only 60 days away or not something. Long, not long. Oh, dear, let's have a look. And viewers, I'm using the Japarize deck, which I will just show you here again. It's so beautiful. Okay, I've been calling them the French cards, but really mm. the artist is from Georgia. So these cards are now out and about. Trump. Okay, if you could Maddie? tilt, sure. please, Dave. Oh, we're off to a flying start, viewers. <laughs> okay. Is that all right for you? You're not wearing out your arms? No, I'll be all right. Okay. So, look, here goes the script, viewers. What's the card representing Trump and his mindset? The devil. I mean, really. So surprising. It's like, because he is on fast forward. This is the thing about him, isn't he? It's it's like the whole thing has become so compressed yeah. and accelerated, yeah. mm -hmm. right, that his demon behavior mm -hmm. and the demons in his mind, in all seriousness, mm -hmm. you know, his own demons are coming back for the first time mm -hmm. in his life. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. He's never had to be accountable. Mm -hmm. He could mm -hmm. always just go on to the next project, mm -hmm. get another rogue banker to bail him out. Mm -hmm. He's never had to deal with the results. And so now he's unleashed. The devil has been unleashed. Like mm -hmm. I would say at this point too, because I can't speak for Dave, but certainly for myself, I don't believe in the devil per se. Mm -hmm. It's not actually about evil as such. Mm. We're just talking about really evil, selfish behavior. Mm -hmm. mm. Right. So here is Trump. Literally in the guise of the devil. He doesn't care who he takes down. He doesn't care if the whole GOP goes down the toilet. Not a problem. Now, here he gets the judgment card. Okay, he is under severe stress. We know this. Yeah. You know, it's a pincer movement from all sorts of positions <laughs> of what's happening yeah. now. And he can duck and weave all he likes or tough it out all he likes, but he can't escape the judgment. Yeah. Now, the next card I find interesting in this deck, it's the violinist with the orchestra. I don't think this is Trump. I think this is other people singing, mm -hmm. <laughs> per 
performing mm-hmm. with the stage. So it's like now there's we've turned a corner with mm-hmm. this stuff, with who's flipped and who's about to flip and mm. so forth. It's almost like they're queuing up now. A chorus of singers. It's a chorus yeah. of singers yeah. uh. going, I want my time in the spotlight because I can see this ship going down. Our feet uh-huh. are wet. Yeah. And rather than go down with the ship, I'm going to do my best to get my bit of limelight to say, really, I did these bad things over here, but I'm not as bad as the next mm-hmm. guy. It's like, mm-hmm. that's the that's vibe the I get on it. Yeah, I feel you. Yeah, yeah, that's exactly how I feel. Yeah, it's really like that. So just back to Trump again for a minute. The world. So mm. although in his emperor brain, in his pharaoh brain, he loves to think, you know, he's a world player, mm-hmm. and simply by being POTUS, he is a world player. <laughs> mm-hmm. However, he's so spectacularly unqualified for this role. But this card leads beautifully into the next mini reading I'm about to do, viewers, which is the international, how the world is seeing this election. And it's only midterms for you guys, and yet it's the biggest election, I think, in modern history. It sure is. I totally agree with that it, assessment. 2020 is a million miles away, and mm-hmm. this is the one that counts. It matters. Yeah, this one really matters, right? Isn't it? It'll decide everything. It'll decide the future of our country yeah. in so many ways. Yeah. In so many ways, it's very interesting that it would just be this fairly random election in normal years yeah. but now it's so important yeah it's massive mm-hmm. and i just heard john kerry the other day um saying i'd forgotten but in the election the dreaded election mm-hmm. that got you guys trump only 54 percent of eligible voters voted mm-hmm. that's mm-hmm. the moral of the story so he got half of 50 percent mm-hmm. and so it's so important viewers to make sure you're up to date with whatever you have to do to be Mm -hmm. valid. Yeah. Voters, it all comes down. Now this, okay, here we go. Just give me a moment here. Internationally, there's so much going on for him. So there's North Korea, that's ground to a halt. Nothing seems to be happening there that's good. Russia, the perennial player. Yeah. (laughs) China. You know, Trump's going out with a broomstick, whipping the dragon. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. And Iran. So let's just see what turns up. I'm not going to do all of them. I'm just going to see what turns up for Trump on the international stage. The international Trump. All right. If you would do your tilt thing. Sure. Okay, here we go, <laughs> yes. Mm-hmm. All right, first off, he gets the two of wins, the wolves. And I love this card mm-hmm. because it has an inner ambiguity. Mm-hmm. You've got the courage and loyalty of the wolf, mm-hmm. the lone wolf, and yet you've got the pair, there's a baby wolf there. Mm-hmm. But you've also got all the things that... Uh, a sort of nasty that's attributed to wolves, you know, the viciousness, the attack danger, dog, danger right. thing going on. So he's doing this. This is pissing off his allies, hmm. right? being the unpredictable wolf, turning his back on the loyalty, and just looking after himself. This whole little mini reading is just hmm. about him and it's supposed to be about the world, and that, in fact, says it all. <laughs> it sure does. Yeah. Okay. The card of delusion, illusion, being dazzled by wealth, mm-hmm. thinking wealth makes you a righteous person, mm-hmm. thinking that wealth is the answer to everything. This is the ultimate Trump-esque card. You know, it's actually based on... Um, like a jellyfish idea of the world. Mm-hmm. You know, just give me jewels. I want more crowns. Mm-hmm. I, I want more mm-hmm. stuff. real estate. I just want more stuff. Okay, so that's the vacuous Trump. That's what motivated him. Mm-hmm. This is out in the cold, walking away alone or riding mm-hmm. away. I just saw, I think it was yesterday, where he's cancelled his trip to Ireland. Yeah. Last week he cancelled his trip to Australia. 
there's a lot of cancelling going on. Yes. <laughs> Because yeah. he knows now, he's he, it's even penetrating his Fox News brain <laughs> that there are protests wherever he goes and yeah. he can't handle it. He yeah. can't handle it. Mm -hmm. So I think you're going to see more cancellation. I see. Of anything. And here he is, the King of Winds. It's the dandy card. You know, this is just the look at me, look at me. But his world is narrowing down mm -hmm. even from Trump palace. He's now just surrounded by four walls that mm -hmm. are moving in. So I'm going to leave that there. I'll do other readings in the future on more detail with each of the countries that I named before. But this is just setting the tone. Mm -hmm. And it just says straight up, Trump cannot engage with the world. He's incapable of doing it because mm -hmm. of his narcissistic lack of worldview. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. That's what the story is. You know, he doesn't get it. So, Dave, I'd like to ask you now okay. to do a little channel for us, okay. please, on how the rest of the world is seeing Trump okay. now and, the, and this time in history. Okay. So, how the world sees Trump. Okay, Spirit, tell me, how does the world see Donald Trump? Hmm. Okay, that is very funny because um, you know, everyone knows the story, the emperor with no clothes. And it's essentially him walking down the street naked. Nobody wants to see that, um, so everybody pretends that they don't. But really, I see a lot of countries just sort of laughing and snickering and saying, well, America, now you've got your tyrant to deal with. Um, so, um, you know, it, it's just a kind of embarrassing to be perfectly honest you know <laughs> yeah when you have these you know pretty totalitarian or you know countries looking at you and telling you that you're the one that's totalitarian that's pretty heavy stuff so it just they just see him as a big fat baby you know mm. it's like think of the balloon that's just um it's interesting because you go to different countries and they have this sort of slightly different perception mm -hmm. like it's like as i see you know middle eastern people view him as emperor of no clothes the Brits kind of view him more as that big balloon baby that mm -hmm. they've all seen. It's, you know what, I, I gotta say, it's it's very much the experience of an older country that has experienced a good deal of mm -hmm. things and has already had their fascists mm -hmm. and already had their kings and had their autocrats looking at us and saying, okay, it's now it's your time. Now you guys have to deal with the same situations that we have already dealt with. And they're a little bit more forgiving in the sense that this happens to all countries and this is just, this is the evolution of the United States. Um, they also, I also see the flag kind of with some holes in it mm -hmm. as if people have mm -hmm. shot holes in it. But you know, the flag's still there, mm -hmm. right? It still exists. It's just uh, holy, you know, it's mm -hmm. just been shot through a couple of times. Mm. Now I'll tell you, Putin views him as a marionette. Mm. Putin really does have this fantastic control over Donald Trump. I don't know what it is, but he's manipulating him um, like a plaything, and that is to the benefit of his his own um, his own presidency because it makes him look very very powerful. Uh, and um, hmm, okay, this is actually from a tarot card. I, it's not a tarot card deck that I use, but I see an image. Um, and it's usually the sun, but it's like the character on the back sort of of a horse per se. But it looks like they're, they're going to fall off. So we kind of have this picture of like you in the sun. This is, this is your moment in the sun, and now it's done, mm. right? And um, that, that seems like that. That seems like really, really telling. Right. Wow. Yeah. I love that. Yeah. The Russians must be so furious, uh -huh. too, because he's so hopeless. Yeah, you know. right. They expected more competence, I'm they sure. They certainly did. <laughs> yeah, he should have been a tougher adversary. Yeah, really. Terrific. <laughs> well, that was a great reading. Oh, Take care. Great. Thanks for watching.